like Tom DeVita. And, um, and then we, uh, it was kind of funny because uh, when she was there alone, she kind of seemed like, um, I don't know, like some, you know, lonely sailor woman, kind of tired and, and old and angry. And, uh, and I wanted something that would kind of a bit, something positive without taking away from, from her. And, um, and then Jonathan came up with the idea of flowers and this kind of um, paisleys and this whole psychedelic um, 60s kind of background. And, um, and now she seems real happy and much more bright and vibrant. And this piece is actually real interesting because um, this was a design that John actually came up with. and. Uh, it turns out that uh, we had nothing really in mind for it to say or, or, or spell. And when we were finished, it turned out that uh, it spells wisdom. And we had, like, no intentions of doing it. But if you look real close, it's, uh, it says wisdom. Well, this is my name, Luke. And um, these were letters that a friend of Jonathan Shaw's um, made up, designed, and um, it's kind of a graffiti style abstract um, lettering, and um, it says my name, Luke. The piece was done, okay, by, by, by a, an underground cartoonist named Mary Fleener. It's a painting. It's from an oil painting that she did, and I, I saw that piece. And I said, I've got to have this thing. And I was kind of poor at the time. And, and she sold it to me, like, for, you know, the price of a couple meals or something, you know. And, and so I bought it, of course. And, and it hung there in front of me for, like, you know, years and years and years, you know. And everywhere I went, you know, I take it and hang it there, you know, and look at it. And that thing's been sort of, like, implanted in my brain over the years, I guess. Because one day I was talking to Philip, Philip Lou, my partner, and... You know, I would say, you know, that would be my dream. You know, like every tattooer, you know, has some kind of a dream. You know, Bill Salmon was now his dream was to tattoo a giant stalk of corn on somebody's back, you know. Some farmer from Kansas or something who didn't have any tattoos and he was going to do one big fucking piece of corn. And I thought, you know, boy, that's, that's a pretty good one. You know, my dream became like, I'm going to do this on somebody's back. But I didn't realize it until one day, you know, me and Philip were talking and it sort of crystallized, you know, and I said, that would be it. That would be the fucking piece. And within two days, a guy came along who I'd been doing a lot of work on. You know, that guy's Luke. You already talked to him. And, uh, and I just suggested it to him. I said, hey, Luke, you know, I got the back piece for you. He said, yeah, really? Let me see it, you know. And I said, well, there it is. And it just sort of, he just went bingo, you know, and he was like, when can we start? So what, getting back to what I was saying, see, I didn't create that piece. All I did really was just suggest that he get that thing, offer him the service, and put it on him. You know, which is like, you know, well, shit. But they didn't, I did, you know, and I'm really proud of that, you know. I'm really, I'm just really happy that, you know, that, that I got to do that thing, you know, and uh, see, there you go, that's the part I love about conventions. Hey, they set off the fire alarm, and look, it wasn't me. I wasn't anywhere near, I'm on film, I'm sitting here, and somebody set off the goddamn fire alarm, you know, because I heard somebody say that they thought, you know, some nasty malcontent like Jonathan Shaw might have been the one, the asshole, that says, you, whoever you are, you fucking asshole. Everybody, uh, Everybody gets, gets to wake up in the middle of the night after a long, hard day of tattooing and, and bullshitting, you know, and they get, you know, a couple hours sleep a night, and you wake them up with the goddamn fire. Stop it.